all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you uh, please invite your friends and after we finish immediately download the video this is a very important video and this is why actually i'm going to keep it very short and the purpose so many of you can download it and post it in their channel so it's going to be less than 15 minutes so please feel free to download the video immediately and this is for free for everybody to do so as we know muhammad he claimed to be a prophet but there's a mountains of evidence that muhammad is a false prophet and today we will share a very important one with you actually i spoke about it before but i wanted to make it shorter easier for people to understand the story of the women who tried to kill the prophet of islam and she was really successful it's proven to us that muhammad is a truly a false prophet <clears throat> how we can come to this conclusion if we go in the hadith where the story happened and this is not a hadith the muslim they can say it's weak <clears throat> it is sahih and this hadith is appear in many places not only in this one it says here that a woman who is a jew whom muhammad he killed all her family and her tribe she was taken as a slave and she cooked a goat or a sheep and she had poison the prophet she put a poison for him in that goat and then uh, the prophet claimed that the goat spoke to him and told him that the goat is poisoned and the funny here that the goat spoke to him it is cooked it's fried it's barbecued and it has no head but yet it can speak to the prophet and she told him that this I am poisoned don't eat me but she said that after he ate from her which means from the goat which I find the story very funny and hilarious and then the prophet he sent to the Jews to the women who cook the food the Jewish woman he said to her what motivate you to do your work the work you have done which means the poison she said well pff, you know what if you are a prophet it would not harm you but if you were a king like like any other king I should ride the people of you which means that will expose you you are just a prophet not a prophet so if you die well that's mean you are not a prophet if you are just a normal king like anyone who take over by sword eh, you would die and then the prophet of Allah he says uh, 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 when we will show you the other hadith where he says but Allah will not allow you to do so which mean uh, uh, Allah will not allow such a thing to happen to me and then you see uh, uh, you know Muhammad right away after he says uh, that after that I feel the pain from uh, from the food I ate in Khaybar does is cutting my arta so Muhammad confirmed that this woman she killed him and Muhammad he confirmed that Allah will not allow this woman to accomplish her mission and why she cannot accomplish this mission because simply he's a prophet if he is just a normal king then he will die normally like everybody but if you are a prophet then you will not die uh, and there is more other other hadith speaking about the same uh, story uh, Muhammad in different hadith he said the following uh, let us see if we can find it in this uh, website here <clears throat> all right I guess we found it let us see uh, I'm not sure if this is the one no this is not the one anyway so the the, the, the whole point of this story if Muhammad is a prophet uh, nobody can kill the prophet if you go as an example in uh, Sahih Ahmad or Musnad Ahmad it says that the woman she said to him if you are a prophet Allah will not Allah is going to tell you about it which means you will not eat it 
and if you are not a prophet I will make the people get rid of you and then the prophet he said uh, you know to her well Allah will not uh, uh, Allah, Allah will not allow you to do so which means Allah will not allow you to have victory over me and to kill me by the poison but then we find Muhammad saying in different hadith not only in this one we just read for you Muhammad he confirmed that in his death that he is dying because of the poison he ate at Khaybar and this is Sahih al-Bukhari where Muhammad he said uh, Aisha she's saying that the prophet he used to say oh Aisha I still feel that the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar and now in this moment with me which mean uh, I feel as if it's my orta is being cut off so now Muhammad is confirming that his death is happening by the poison and if the Muslim they want to say the Prophet was wrong that's mean the Prophet is not a prophet uh, if we go to the hadith we will find the following and this is, should be found in Sahih al-Bukhari too so let us see if we can find this one here we go this is Sahih al-Bukhari it says it clearly that the woman she said to him the reason I want to kill you to uh, to see if you are a prophet or not and if you are a prophet that poison will would not harm you read carefully uh, he said to her uh, have you poisoned this sheep she said yes the woman she is suicidal obviously he asked what made you do so they said we wanted to know if you were a liar in which case we we would get rid of you and if you were a prophet then the poison would not harm you so the purpose of this uh, conspiracy against Muhammad either he is a true prophet or he is a false prophet and the story continue where Muhammad he says well Allah will not let you do so but here read carefully with me if you are a prophet you will not die if you are a prophet you will die the Muslims believe that Muhammad is protected by Allah and the Prophet is protected and nobody can touch him yet here we find Muhammad dying by the poison confirming that the poison is killing him and he is by confirming that he is agreeing that the women that plan to examine his prophethood she was successful to get rid of him and to prove that he is a false prophet especially when he challenged her to say well Allah will not allow you to do so which means Allah will not let you uh, harm me uh, if we ask any Muslim what what this is all mean imagine we have an examination if you are this this will not happen to you and Muhammad he challenged the women that that will not happen and then we find that this is exactly what happened to him and then we go to the Quran we will find Muhammad saying in the Quran that if Muhammad he did lie which is supposed to Allah Allah Aka Muhammad because Muhammad and Allah is one Allah in the Quran in chapter 69 verse number 44 you can read from verse number 43 44 45 46 where it says that if Muhammad is a liar fabricating things it's not from God then Allah will cut his artery and this is exactly what happened to Muhammad as we see in this hadith here which is in Sunnah Ibn Dawood and this is exactly as we see in this hadith here which is in Al-Bukhari So the Quran confirmed that if Muhammad is a liar, a fabricator, a false prophet, Allah would cut his artery and Muhammad saying exactly that this is what happened to him. But here there's more than this. The women she killed the prophet 
but according to the Quran the one who killed the Prophet is Allah and let us prove that to you which mean now the network of approving Muhammad to be a false is all over him because remember the women she made the examination if you are a prophet you will not die Muhammad he challenged her he said Allah will not allow you to do so the women she was successful to poison the prophet the prophet he suffered to death dying by the poison the Quran says in chapter 69 that if he lie we will cut his arta and this is exactly what we see in the front of us in the screen and then we find that the Quran says in different verse and this is the big problem now according to the Quran in chapter 64 verse number 11 it says Ma asaba min musibatin illa bi idnillah. translation no kind of a calamity can occur except by the leave of Allah and here remember the women she killed Muhammad Muhammad died by poison the Quran saying if Muhammad is a fabricator is he's a false prophet certainly we are going to cut his artery and then we find a verse in the Quran saying that there's no damage no bad things nothing can happen no calamity can happen to anyone can occur no exception except by the leave of Allah that's mean the one who killed Muhammad is Allah himself and this is in total agreement with the verse where it says if Muhammad is a liar who fabricate verses about us in chapter 69 we are going to cut his artery and this is in total agreement with the hadith where it says that Muhammad saying I am dying because of the poison which is cutting my artery which is in total agreement with the story where Muhammad saying that Allah will not allow you to do so and here you notice how Muhammad he got himself busted so the Quran confirmed that Allah is the one who killed Muhammad. And this is in two chapters in the Quran, chapter 69, verse number 43, 44, 46, 40, 45, 46. And in verse number 47, do you think anyone can, can, uh, can be protected from us? Protected? No. And then in the other chapter here, chapter 64 it says it clearly that there's no harm can happen to anyone except by the leave of Allah so in order for this woman to be successful to kill Muhammad she have to get the leave of Allah and the approval of Allah and why Allah he approved his death because Muhammad he fabricated lies about Allah I'm just using a pure Islamic resource. All of it, it is sahih. All of it is approved. There's no fabrication. There's no doubt about it. And I challenge any Muslim to say to me, this is not true. That is your religion. And this is your prophet got busted. Please download the video. Share it with your friends. We have to keep it long, uh, short so you guys can have it. Uh, 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 post it in your, in your account. And again, uh, by the way, we have my second book in Spanish is already published for those who speak Spanish. Please tell your friends. So now we have two books in Spanish and this book is going to be very soon in Amazon. It's already published actually, but it take maybe a day or two to appear in Amazon. So if you are a person who speaks Spanish, you want to receive the Quran and science in, in Spanish. The book is already going to be out maybe in the coming few hours. And we have the, the other book too, which is uh, the deception of Allah in Spanish and for sure those books are translated to many languages so get your copy I want to say thank you guys as I said I'm gonna keep this video short so you can share it easy people watch it and this is a very clear proof and no Muslim really can challenge me about that all those reference no no harm can happen to anyone except by the leave of Allah no one can be harmed except by the leave of Allah no one and Muhammad was harmed, killed by poison. And the Quran says, if Muhammad is a liar, he fabricated Quran about us. We obviously, we are going to cut, certainly, we are going to cut his artery. And Muhammad himself, he explained to us how he died. He died by poison and his orta is cut off. And this hadith is reported and this is sahih. And no Muslim can say, this is not true. And the women she made a challenge that if you are a prophet and this is the purpose of this poisoning if you are a prophet allah will save you if you are not a prophet 
you will die and this is exactly what happened to Muhammad so all the all the proofs lead to one conclusion that Muhammad is a false prophet he is a liar and he gave us a clear evidence from his own words from his own reference from his own followers from his own books printed published translated by Muslims and shared with us even the Quran confirm as we said in chapter 69 that this is what will happen exactly to Muhammad even the Quran in chapter 64 verse number 11 it says it clearly that there's no a calamity can happen can occur to anyone except by the leave of Allah that's mean the one who killed this man Muhammad yes it was the Jewish women but it was by the leave of Allah and Allah he sent this women to kill Muhammad by the way I don't believe in Allah but here the irony is that Muhammad he fabricated too many lies and yet get busted he never thought he will die by poison I believe the one who destroyed Muhammad is my Lord not Allah Allah does not exist but Muhammad he never thought that he will die in such a way Muhammad he is a person who talk too much and the more you talk the more you expose your lies keep talking Muhammad too bad he's dead thank you very much guys for being here may the Lord bless you please download the video immediately after we finish Christ is Lord Islam is false and we will see you soon again thank you take care